welcome back to Alphabites. Today's letter is the letter G. I have the letter G here that we're gonna draw together in an upper and lower case. You can also follow along with the G on the screen. We're gonna start by making a large, almost a whole circle. We're gonna go all the way around and up, and then we're gonna make a line in. And then to make our lowercase g, we'll make a smaller circle, and then we'll go to the top and we'll bring down a line with a little hook on the bottom. Another way you can make the letter G is using American Sign Language. You're going to bring your palm up, you're going to bend all your fingers down and bring your thumb in, then you're gonna bend your arm down a little bit and point your index finger out. That's how we make the letter G. Something that begins with the letter G is a color, green. I have a green scarf with me today. I would like to share with you a traffic signal. In the traffic signal, green represents the action of go. Yellow is telling us to slow down, and red means stop. I have an activity that we can do based on this. Can you take your hands and roll them around really, really fast? That's green, because green means go. And then we're gonna roll them slowly. That's for yellow, which means slow. And then when we get to red, it's stop. Let's try that one more time. Green means go, go, go. Yellow means slow, slow, slow. And red means stop. Parents and caregivers. It's important for children to learn that reading isn't always just words on the pages in a book. Sometimes reading involves signs and symbols. We call this environmental print and it's an important part of their literacy development. It's also a fun thing that you can do when you're riding in the car or you're walking around the neighborhood. Um, the meaning of the colors in this traffic signal that we used earlier um, is like a fun way to reinforce that. You could make this at home. You could have your child cut out a green, yellow, and red circle, and then they could put it on a black triangle. You could check and make sure that they're all in the right order. And then you could follow up and sing a song like we did earlier. This is going to help them um, to reinforce the fact that a word can be a color, it can be a symbol, it can be an action. It kind of, um, kind of brings it all together for them. So thank you for joining us today. And the next letter is letter H. See you then.